Hello and welcome to all the ladies and gentlemen to the NASCOM Technologies and Leadership Forum 2024. My name is Devin and I am here with one of the most dashing personalities that I've come across today, Mr. Kishore Patil. He is the co-founder, CEO and MD, KPIT Technologies. So tell me the impact of AI on automotive and mobility industry. Uh, this is, this is uh, going to be a very important uh, change in the automotive industry. And there are two, three areas where this can be very significant. Um, so first uh, is uh, autonomous, where a lot of AI has been used, but I think uh, the Gen AI and uh, some of the other things will be extremely important in um, improving the, uh, what you call, uh, improving the quality of testing or quality of improving the dependability, improving the quality of integration. And that will allow a better adaptation of automotive uh, in the automotive industry of autonomous vehicle. So, as you know, the, there is a technology which is available. The reason it is less adopted is there is a work to be done in um, how autonomous vehicle will coexist with lot of non-autonomous uh, objects. And for to, for doing that, I think it will be very useful to use AI in a multiple way, that is one part. The second part, uh, part is the improving the efficiency. Um, so for example, if you look at uh, the powertrain area, uh, AI can substantially help in improving the efficiency of battery, which is a large cost item, and also which is uh, uh, the, uh, uh, it's also limited in terms of uh, the raw materials. So uh, that, uh, that already there is a good improvement so that will really help uh, this. Last but not the least is the passenger experience, experience part of the whole vehicle. And um, personalized experience, overall experience and personalized experience. AI will help in that uh, significant way. That is a focus of most of the auto manufacturers. Another question for you. Could you please uh, explain us the role of AI in the future of your organization? Big thing, actually absolutely big thing, because I've mentioned to you it is very relevant to all my clients. <laughs> so of course it is very relevant to us. Uh, but uh, going beyond that, I think uh, we are looking at um, AI in uh, multiple dimensions. Uh, one is we are looking at uh, how AI can help us uh, in terms of transform our internal organization, make it m more effective, we can reduce the time to service for my clients, internal clients and external clients, like for example, uh, legal draft, you know, how quickly I can get a, a in, you know, legal draft to, to the client. Uh, not two days, but can I do it in two hours by using that? So I think that example I'm just saying, uh, better marketing intelligence, uh, so that's, uh, and the third is improving our internal supply chain, which is about uh, resourcing of the people, etc. So there are these important functions which we want to use. Uh, apart from the fact of uh, uh, better uh, financial, um, if I would say, uh, uh, analytics, etc. So that's, a, that's, that's given. So these are some of the part. The second part which uh, we are working on is uh, improving the productivity of our software engineering process. And I think uh, these are initial days. I cannot uh, say we are uh, there. We are just... Uh, scrapping the surface, but we are taking a very big steps in this area. True. And uh, I think it will take, uh, uh, I, I will not be ambitious to say in next 12 months, this is, will be my productivity improvement or anything. But next, it may take 12 to 18 months to really uh, build that kind of uh, skill within our employees, so change our systems, process the way we work. And uh, I think then we will see a very significant improvement uh, in that. So that's the second part we are doing. And the third is the science part of the automotive industry, what we can do with our clients. So this, uh, this is very, very important. Uh, actually, uh, um, this will be kind of a must-have skill for all 13,000 employees. Yeah.